Hi Dorians, welcome to my channel. This is your monthly finance reading for the month of July. And if this does not resonate with you, then please check your moon or rising, especially rising, okay? So Taurus, what is coming towards my Taurus for the month of July? What do we have? Be careful of communication, especially after the seventh of the month, because Cancer is your third house. That's to do with communication and Mercury going retrograde. So, and Mars also there. So it's like better to keep shut than to talk, okay? Because Mars is a hot-headed planet, will make you hot-headed, and Mercury is about communication. So hot-headed communication, okay? So don't speak. There are certain days when you don't, when you feel that things are not happening your way, it's better to shut up, okay? Not speak. Maybe you can speak later. All right. So Taurus, let's see what we have for you. I don't like keeping the spread open before I start the reading. I like to... I prefer to do it live in front of you guys so that, you know, well, it's just that I feel comfortable that way, okay? And I like showing you the cards because, you know, I prefer showing you the card than my face. Face is not important. The voices and the cards are, okay? So, I'm here to read your tarot and not show you my hairstyle or my makeup or my dresses. <laughs> I'm a simple soul. Oops. All right. Taurus. And I'm ancient. Not a kid. Okay. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, and one oracle advice, which we're going to see at the end. Show me one oracle advice. All right, here. We'll see it at the end, okay? All right, Taurus, here we go. Oh my God, false person. With the Knight of Cups. Coffin with strength. Okay. Mature man with three of wands. Very nice. Family room with the king of wands. Sudden wealth. This is worth it. And sudden wealth with two of cups. Both number two. If two has some meaning in your life. Mature wom woman with the king of souls. All right. Beautiful Taurus. Firstly, as I said before I started you know, laying your shuffling your cards, beware of communication. Knight of Cups, a person who talks very sweetly, uh, but then nights like, right? So they come and go. They don't really stay. They're supposed to just pass through. So whoever this person is in your life giving you those promises or telling you all the good things about you or your work or your business or whatever is a false person, okay? It's not really what they are. They don't have the best intent in their mind. They might be telling it because you are more powerful. Maybe you are the senior and they're just pleasing you. Or they could be a co-worker, but they feel that you do the work better. So they're pleasing you so that you can just, um, you know, get motivated and do their share of work. If that's, that's in a job kind of scenario. Or they could be giving you false promises and they're giving you false commitments. And uh, if it's business, again, 
It could be a very smooth talker. Could be your, as I see with the Knight of Cups, could be that you're the boss and he or she is the salesperson that you've hired or somebody who gives you a lot of commitments. Yes, sir, this month we are closing this. I have these many upsides and these many commits and I'm going to let them, I'm going to close them. And at the end of the month, you realize that they were all false. Maybe this person says that he goes for sales meetings and where he is it? He's having coffee somewhere else or just, you know, wasting his time outside and yeah, and is giving you false stories. Could be that kind of a person in your business if you are running a business and if you are dependent on somebody for something. Or it could be your delivery guy, you know, telling you that, yeah, this is possible. We'll do it. You go ahead. You pick it up. We are going to deliver it to the client within this, this estate. And then when the date comes, they're not there. So it's all about false commitments, okay? You, you got my point. So it's all about false commitment. Whoever is committing or talking sweetly with you at work, they are false. They're not telling you the full truth, the whole truth, or they're not telling you the truth at all. What he is supporting it is um, you know, strength with the coffin. So maybe you need to discount whatever they're saying. Don't take everything verbatim. Okay, have the knowledge to understand how much of it is true and how much of it is fake. Don't just believe everything with blind eye. Uh, maybe with coffin here, I feel that you need to either bury, bury whatever they're saying, that is completely discount whatever they're saying, and go by your own knowledge or your own wisdom or you need to you know make sure and take you know learn to take the the core of core message from whatever this person is saying try to see look into the core message of what whatever this person is saying have that strength and Maybe your expectations are too high and this person is your employee. So he or she gives you a lot of stories in order to retain their job. So have the strength, okay, to, to you know, understand that and, and to accept it that every month can't be the same. What I see coming towards you or what, you know, could be... Uh, the thing of the near future, what you should be looking forward to is firstly, there's going to be a matured man, a matured person in your life, definitely a man, but the person is going to be very matured. You're going to get connected with this person, could be a new customer, could be a, your new solicitor, could be uh, your new uh, your advisor or your new accountant, but this person is very mature, very knowledgeable a lot of books travel the world, so knows. Or it could be a new friend that you meet or a new boss and very knowledgeable, very matured. It's not about the age, but it's about their mental maturity. And they will teach you. Maybe you're not patient at this point of time. And this false person takes advantage of that, of your impatience. They know you're impatient, so they are kind of this flighty. So... You know, that is the reason you need to discount what they're saying and have the strength to be patient. Have the strength to wait. If you want immediate results or everything delivered to you before even you utter the word, then that's not possible. And that is where employees who give you false promises or uh, your teammates who make false promises, they make it more because they know you're impatient and that is not what you want to hear. But what is coming towards you is I see a matured man. Somebody matured in your organization, in your business, in your circle. Or maybe you could connect with them at a social level, which turns out to be a professional uh, kind of relationship. But that person is going to help you. But you have to wait patiently. It's still, if there are some delays. Or you could be looking to close a deal with... Uh, 
bigger organization, a richer organization, where the decision maker is a very matured man, maybe a senior man. But uh, so there is some delay. With the three of wands, I see things will happen, but things will be a bit delayed. What you need to do is, firstly, the family room is here. So have some brainstorming in your office, in your team, in your own organization if you're into business. Or, and, you know, put, motivate people. King of Wands, this is the time you should be motivating people instead of demotivating them and, you know, showing them sticks. Because if you show them sticks, the easy way out is to be the false person, it's to give you false promises, make you false promises so that they, they can just get through that meeting, you know, because the bull is angry. So let's tell something that will cool the bull, uh, the bull. And then I can get away with it. So don't do that. You're harming yourself. You are getting happy with lies. And people are giving you lies so that you get happy with it. So don't do that. Okay? Instead, if it's a crisis situation, if you're going through financial crisis, or you're not able to close deals, or you're not having that growth, maybe it's time you need to discuss with very close friends, associates of yours, have a closed room new strategy meeting, a new uh, you know a new brainstorming session, and motivate people with the King of Wands. Motivate people. Have a new strategy in place. King of Wands is a strategist. Okay, have a new strategy in place. The old one is not working. If you can do that, you'll have sudden wealth. Maybe you break through. You know you motivate the people such that you know they actually go ahead and close a deal or they give you that breakthrough or if you are in office and you're the boss and you have subordinates under you and with your colleagues have a team a meeting or a close closed meeting you know close door and strategize how you're going to perform this quarter or how you're going to address what to do because i think this is the beginning of another quarter um so this is in in most corporates is the time for Q2. So there'll be a lot of quarter review meetings and uh, people who are working in large organizations. Uh, I know this is the time for your first quarter closing meetings and second quarter strategy meetings. So this is the time you can shine terms. Plan something, okay? Change strategy. Change partners if possible. Or partner up with different set of people. A different team maybe. If you can do that, there'll be sudden wealth. So you'll come into something sudden, okay? And this has to make sense because this is 2 and this is number 11, which looks like 2 in Roman letters. So both, so 2 is all about partnerships. It's about a soul connection. It's about a connection, okay? So maybe you'll connect with somebody through which you suddenly, you get close a deal or get some profits or have a new customer or something like that. Okay? And if you can do that, Taurians, if you can do that, you're going to have, either it's you, mature woman, with the king of souls, so you're going to come into a lot of wisdom, you're going to actually see the data, you're going to see the facts, or you're going to mature as a person, yourself, irrespective of whether it's, it's uh, you're a woman or a man. But a matured woman is a person who is emotionally matured. A person who is rich, abundant, and knows how to handle situations, handle money, handle people, handle resources. So you're going to come into that maturity with the king of swords. So you're going to go through, review a lot of data and see the facts, not go by words as, as now it's happening that you're depending too much on words. I see you coming out of that and going, be, becoming more matured and focusing more on facts and not words. Okay? And, of course, there could be somebody in the organization who is a matured woman and, uh, you know, you could have a CEO or, a, you know, somebody who is at an advisory level or somebody who is much senior to you could be helping you. That's a matured woman. and she, she knows how to handle a team or a difficult situation or how to handle uh, 
difficult target, maybe that person can guide you, help you, and make you see growth. But definitely there is some sudden wealth this month, so you might be coming into some money by the end of July. And uh, there could be, or it could also mean if you are in business, that is for a very few Taurians, but this could also mean that if, especially if you are in business, you might get help from somebody matured in your family. If your business is going through a crisis, it could be an old aunt or an elder sister or a cousin or your mom, somebody matured, a woman in your life who actually comes forward because I see you discussing your problem in the family. You know, out when once you're disturbed, maybe you'll get together with the family and discuss this, what is happening, and I might have to shut shop or, you know, I might have to change or I might have to lay off certain people. So, you know, like strategizing with very close family members. So I see it could be for some Taurians, there could be a woman who comes forward to help you. Saying, don't shut shop. How much do you need? Okay, I can lend you this much. And this person, this woman, is very wise. She'll not only give you money, and that could be the sudden wealth. That may might not give you only money, but also wisdom. With the king of swords, it could mean that they can also share their wisdom with you, which is going to be beneficial for you. So overall, I see you starting, you know, on a wrong note in the beginning of July, especially after the 7th. I see maybe, and that's nothing to do with financial losses, but it's more to do with depending on the wrong set of people or depending on words of people or communication of people. So once you realize that and you change your strategy, you can pull through this month. You know, in the Mercury retrograde season, you can actually pull through uh, that and uh, not a very bad month for uh, returns or for profits. It's just that you need some time. There's some delay, okay? There's some delay. With the three of wands, there is some kind of delay. So that is where you're feeling a bit as if things are not moving or you're, you're having financial problems. That's not the real scenario. Is It's just that the project or the work maybe is delayed for a few days or a few weeks, okay? So let's see your oracle advice, what we have. Energy healing, okay. Your natural energy healing abilities are important part of your life purpose. So as I said, you are just too much up in your mind thinking about these issues and just because of the delay, maybe you're feeling a bit stressed out. So Taurians, which you do, you do brood, you do get stressed out. So when you do, maybe you can try some yoga or try some energy healing or heal yourself, calm down, peace, peace, okay? Take a deep breath and chill, relax to get help. And maybe for that you need to connect with your family or connect with very close colleagues or your uh, your if you're running an organization, then all the people working in your organization, you need to connect with them, share your problems, strategize, create a new strategy and come out to be more mature to handle the situation. Okay? All right, Taurus, this is all I can see for you this month. However, please do check your general readings for more clarity because that will give you better understanding. And please comment, like, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll be updating your general readings in the next few days. See you again with new readings. Until then, stay positive. Bye.